Okay, welcome back. So in this segment, we're going to talk about inputting text into our LED panel. Um, and we start by, well, if you, haven't, if you haven't been following along step by step, you can go back a couple videos and it will tell you how to get to this point where we have the configuration set up uh, to what it is. So in this segment, we're talking about text. So we go to the text, we go to text input, open text panel. Now you have monochrome or full color, and as I scroll between the two, you can see, uh, I think the full color is a lot easier to read, especially if somebody's driving by or something and then you want them to capture the information. Uh, full color is, is definitely the way to go. You can go horizontal or vertical. And this way the text scrolls different directions, and that just depends on how you have it set up for your application. With our application here, we're gonna go with horizontal. Now you're seeing that the bottom is cut off, and this remember that this is basically free software, so it's going to have some workarounds. Uh, and basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to select font, we're going to font size, and we're going to adjust it down a little bit. And that's going to depend on the size of your array. Bigger your array, different you can do different things with more pixels, right? Everything's going to be more defined or less defined depending on what size you use. Um, Sim Sun is my particular. My, my choice, it's a lot, of, I've, I've yet to find another another uh, font that works as well as this and is easy to read on a smaller size panel like what we're working with here. And then you have some other effects, strike out or underline, and you can play with those. You can also adjust the color uh, and like that. So these are all things you can play with. So we adjusted the size and now you can see I adjusted the size down so now it fits within the within the panel and the LEDs that we have. You can adjust the speed here, but you can also adjust it on the controller. So I like the speed that it's set out here and it's fine with me. Uh, you can also adjust it vertically down or up as you find necessary. And we can change the input language. So we'll type in flexfireleds.com and we're gonna hide it. And then what we need to do here is we need to capture this, right? Just like just like before, there's a record button you can press, a little red dot, or you can go to record and press record. It's kind of hard to see the camera here. We we'll press it. Now we're recording, and you'll see when you have the program running, it's it's every frame is being captured. So we'll let it run for about 250 frames, and I like to stop it as the last as that M is coming across. Boom! I stopped it. So now when it starts, you're not going to see, it's not going to flicker. There's not going to be like a weird pause where the, you're halfway through a word and, uh, and then it refreshes and starts over. So now we need to close text panel to be able to export it to our SD card. So we close the text panel. It goes back to the screen and now we go to export, export effect dot LED and it's a letter E there. So the top choice. All right, this panel comes up, browse for folder, we go to computer, we go to SD card secure digital storage device, we click open, we're going to set it, once again, I don't have any programs on there, so it's 0, 0, but you can go 0 to 16, okay, and we have then saved it, so now we're going to remove the SD card, eject, Okay. Close this. What we'll do here, we'll put the SD card in. Make sure, I'm gonna remind you every time, make sure that the uh, the power is off to the unit. Plug it in. And we now have it scrolling across. Now you can actually add graphics, like if you wanted to take this right here and then have that arrow flashing in a particular direction from the previous video, you can do that and uh, I'll show you in the next segment.